Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today, I have an awesome tutorial for you. As always, come on now. <laughs> it is pretty late though, so it might not be up till Saturday. Hopefully I can get it done fast. So basically today, we're going over creating depth of field in clips that don't have depth of field. Now, if you guys don't know what depth of field is, I'll provide a link in the description. It's basically just adding in some uh, blurriness to the to the back so you're focusing only on the objects in front or whatever you're trying to focus on and it makes a kind of movie look it makes your shots more prof more professional and I'd like to go over how to create that right now if you you know if your camera doesn't have depth of field in it so let's do that um, let's just uh, do a new composition so I'm gonna double click over here and I'm gonna take something from our gaming update uh, let's just do my shot my close-up so uh, we have this new clip let's just create a new composition by clicking and dragging the footage down into this little clip right here and you notice that we have this nice clean beautiful shot and this is uh for our gaming channels update so that's why it's in halo so um let's see this shot looks good but it's kind of boring if you if you look at it it's like I don't know it's not bad or anything but it looks like all the other gaming channels out there so what what do we want to do to fix this well let's add in some depth of field that no one ever does uh, let's blur out all this background and to do that let's first start by naming our clip this first thing let's just name it um, original just to make things easy okay so here's what we're gonna do First thing we're going to do is we're going to go control D to duplicate that that shot. And now we're going to hit enter and we're we're going to call this um let's just call this uh ro roto. Yeah. Cuz that's what we're going to roto with. So, we're going to use rotoscoping to create this depth of field. And uh if you don't know rotoscoping, I made a really crappy tutorial about it a long time ago. It's not really crappy. I don't know. It was when I was first doing tutorials. So, if you want to check it out, I do go in a lot of detail and I talk more than I should or whatever, but it is a good tutorial. So if you want to learn more about it, go check there. I'll cover the basics right now. But yeah, so let's actually turn off this uh, background layer quick just so we're not using any processing power at all. And then with Roto selected, let's go up to this brush tool right here. It says Roto Brush Tool. I'm going to click it and we're going to double click on the Roto layer. Okay, so what you'll notice is you'll have this nice green arrow over here. So, quick tips, if you hold down control and drag up, and click and hold and drag up, then it sizes your cursor up, and then holding control and clicking and dragging down makes it smaller. That's what she said. So, um, here's basically what you're going to do. If you've ever messed with Photoshop and you've used the quick selection tool, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Oh wait, and here's another tip, okay? If you hold Alt, it makes it into the negative tool, and I'll explain what that is right now. So, we're just going to click and drag around Eli's body, blah, blah, blah. So simple. After Effects will take care of all that. Boom. Boom, look at that. It makes a nice line. Now let's switch this to this real quick. And what I did was I switched with the the key, or not the key, What what it's... I guess the view, like how you view how it looks. Like you can go like that and be like, oh, okay, that's a nice mask. Oh, that's nice. No. We want this layer right here. And we're just going to click and drag and get back all the things that we need. But let's actually go here so we can see what we're missing. Okay, that's too much. Control, drag down. And you're just going to get a good mask at first. Let's go around. Oh, that might drag all the way out there. Yeah, so... I'm going to hold Alt, delete that up until that point. Ew. There you go. That's better. Let's add that in. Need to add all that. Okay, this is very simple too, guys. I mean, you're just making a mask right now. You're just cutting out this guy. Whatever figure you have. Okay, so, now that we have this nice clean mask, let's go back over to this black and... Uh, where is it? Okay, that works. So, we have this nice clean mask. Let's actually smooth this thing out, this mask out. You see how it kind of blurred the edges? Really cleans it up. And let's drag this up to like 
30, 32 ish. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, so choke will leave it the same. And just like that, you're already getting the effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to use page up and down, but we're going to go down right now to go forward. And we're just going to make sure that the mask is staying around the figure. Well, that's taking a while. So yeah, it's working. So every, And also what we want to do is uh, every seven frames, you want to just click and drag inside here so then it creates another keyframe or else it kind of messes up. So you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be here and it should be clean. And if it's not, you can clean it up fast. But you're just going to click and drag. Now, watch what happens when I go eight pixels forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's probably going to mess up. Let's see. Don't make me into a liar. Come on. Oh, it didn't mess up. Okay, I guess uh, since I'm not moving too much, it's a very easy map. But yours might mess up. So every seven frames, I'd, I'd recommend just taking it in seven frames and just, you know, make sure that your mat is really nice, that your, your mask is, uh, you know, staying nice and rotoscoped. And uh, I'm actually now going to just fast forward this because this is very tedious. And I'll bring you guys back when it's done. So, yeah, be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. That was uh, actually very easy. Just, it's always been very easy to rotoscope. It's just very, very time consuming. You used to have to create a mask, you know, with the pen tool, and it just took forever. But now After Effects pretty much does it for you. And uh, yeah, just pay attention. You know how that whole seven frames thing I said before? It actually depends on where you're at on this little thing down here. This is what determines how far you can go ahead. So you go to the very edge of where this thing stops. And then you can, you know, draw the line and then it continues on. And it guesses where you're going to be. So if it messes up, you can just fix it during any part of that thing and it'll be perfect. So yeah, uh, this was not a rotoscoping tutorial, but um, you got a little lesson on it, I guess. So anyway, now that you're good, let's change it to this. Let's go back to the composition, and now you will see that you have an awesome rotoscope. But let's refine the mat real fast to make it a little bit better on the edges. You see how it just cleaned it up just a, just a wee bit? Just a wee bit. <laughs> so now we can bring back the original. And check this out, guys. This is how we add in the depth of field. We just go right here, and let's just type in on this effects and presets. Let's type in blur. And you can decide what blur you want to do. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. I love the way Gaussian blur looks, but camera lens blur looks pretty awesome as well. Hmm, let's do camera lens blur. Let's put it on. And then let's, uh, let's just put it up. How much depth of field do we want? That's kind of cool. And then let's repeat the edge pixels just so it doesn't get that weird effect on the sides. And check that out, guys. Whew. That is sexy. And uh, we're getting a little bit of a weird effect over here. So let's uh, hit S on the roto layer and just scale it up. And let's see how big that... Ooh, that was a little too big. That's what she said. Let's make it like 105, maybe. Let's see how that looks. Uh, maybe a wee bit bigger, so 107. Happy medium, right? Okay, so now let's, uh, let's move it a little bit. So let's move it back over there. Move it up. Definitely up. Eh, I don't know if I like that. Well, maybe. Nah, it just, it just doesn't, doesn't look right over here, does it? Let's see. Oh, that's that. Why does that look so weird? That looks really strange. Let me turn off the refined mat. Actually, let's, let's turn down the smooth. Make it a little bit sharper on the edges. 
and the feather is just that is weird doesn't look that good I mean it doesn't look bad or anything but let me see let me turn off the roto I guess it looks good all right so now we just added in depth of field now and that was pretty much the tutorial I guess I mean it's pretty easy guys I just wanted to show you guys how I do it and if you guys have a better way then by all means you do it but in my opinion the way I just showed you is the best and most efficient way and um, that's the end of the tutorial but I'm going to finish up and put the looks that I put on here how I made this look how, how cool that looks I'm actually gonna put those looks on on over here so let's just uh, copy that literally paste it over here get that nice look going and also I'm going to go up to composition go to comp settings and I'm just going to make this th until this goes to 2.51 because that's the aspect ratio that we fell in love with uh, where is it? there we go right there okay let's delete that and then repaste it V cool awesome and uh, what else can we do that look that we did on here I guess we can put these into a pre comp quick just go where is it Pre-compose, move all attributes, okay. There's a reason why I just did that. I can just get it back. Come on. Okay, so now let's duplicate the pre-comp we just did. And let's set it to soft light. And then let's go over to this layer and find the soft contrast and just copy all of these over to here uh, if you guys really want to know what settings I'm using right now it's it's basically what Brandon came up with a cool nice soft contrast in Photoshop and so we mimicked it in here to get this kind of glowy look and add like a brightness and contrast on it, it looks cool so a uh, hue and saturation basically you just duplicate the main shot or whatever shot you're doing and then you make that shot black and white then you add a blur can be any blur. We used a camera lens blur, and I might change that to a Gaussian blur. Then you add a curves adjustment, brightening. We we added the curves. You don't have to. Then you set it to soft light, and you lower the opacity down to 75. So if I can just show you what I'm talking about, I you know what I'll do it myself. So we'll go over to here, and we'll type in. Let's start with the saturation. So saturation, hue and saturation. Drag her over to here make it black and white then come over to here and we'll do a nice uh, let's do blur but let's do Gaussian this time because I don't like how the other one turned out actually let's do fast blur yeah Cause that has repeat edge pixels Let me turn that off awesome and let's drag it above the look just so we can see what we're doing here don't need it that much. Cool. All right, so now it's set to soft light. Bring it down to here, and then uh, since the shot was so dark, that is why we did the brightness and contrasting. I'm actually just gonna take that brightness and contrasting. So go over to both. And I'm going to copy this curves adjustment, and basically we just cranked up the darks and the mids and brightened up the brights. We just brightened the entire shot in general. So paste that on. And now let's lower the opacity by hitting T and going down to 75%. And voila, you have an amazing shot that looks pimp freaking ditty. Look how awesome that looks. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something, adding depth of field and this really cool look. Um, if you guys want to check out this gaming video and see exactly what we just created in action, uh, just click the annotation here or in the description. It's just our gaming update, so if you guys want to check out our gaming videos, go to that channel. Don't forget to give the video a like for all our hard work. 
and we love you guys and uh, we're really trying to get back into the whole YouTube thing because uh, we we're really putting a lot of time to the side uh, and really focusing on our other channels now and this channel keeping it updated so hopefully you guys enjoy it thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next effects Friday peace